Greetings and welcome to the Analysis Research Service Center video series. This video demonstrates the requirements for a basic FV3000 Olympus laser scanning confocal microscope driving test doing sequential imaging. This video is not intended to be all-inclusive, but it will demonstrate the basic steps for using the confocal. All ARSC policy and procedures apply. Please contact ARSC staff if you have any questions. The FV3000 laser scanning confocal has five class 3B lasers, a 405 nanometer, 445 nanometer, 488 nanometer, 561 nanometer, and 640 nanometer. All personnel must follow laser safety guidelines. Only cleared ARSC confocal users are allowed to access the system. These users must be signed up in FOM and the log notebook. To start the confocal, please turn on box number one, the CBH, and wait for the beep. Next, turn on box number two, the stage controller. Next, turn on box number three, the touch panel control, or TPC, by pressing the power button located on the back right. Wait for the start operation screen to appear before continuing. Obtain the key and insert into position number four, the PSU, and turn the key to the on position. Turn on number five and wait for the mirrors to cycle before continuing. Turn on box number six, the laser power source. Insert key into position seven and turn on the lasers by flipping up each laser's tab. Turn on the computer. Click on the main screen and enter the password. Next, open up the software. Click OK on the HW configuration pop-up window. If the 4X or 10X objective is in the home position, then execute the cleaning of the stage. Select Layout, then ARSC User Layout, and click Apply. Choose the save path for your images and name your future micrograph. Next, verify time and Z-series are turned off, turn off the room light, and put gloves on. Samples must be loaded upside down or positioned in a petri dish with the correct thickness because this is an inverted microscope. Use the stylus to tap the camera icon on the TPC to change to ocular view. The camera icon will change to an eye. Tap the desired objective icon on the TPC controller to move it into the home position. Move oculars from the vertical position downwards so that it is comfortable for your eyes. Please note, it is important the value on the side of the eyepieces is zero. Focus your sample using either epifluorescence or transmitted light. Click the dye and detector select in the PMT setting window. Click all clear, select the dyes you need for your imaging session, and click OK. Set your desired speed and image size. Optimize for Nyquist if desired. Optimize for the Z height. You may select average line or frame scans if desired. Please verify that you are capturing the correct emission spectra for your sample. For sequential imaging, select frame. Set all lasers HVs to 650, gain to one, and offset to three. If using the transmitted detector, then set that HV to 150 and the offset to zero. Select Live Times 2 to begin a live scan of the sample. Click High Low. Optimize for saturation of pixels and then find the brightest focal plane. Decrease the HV for that laser until the solid red pixels disappear. Select the next group number and repeat the same process for each laser. If using transmitted light, optimize the HV. Once settings are optimized, click Stop to stop the live laser scan. Take a single slice image by clicking LSM Start. Once the micrograph has acquired, click on the Viewer button in the upper right hand corner. Demonstrate how to change the view of the image. Add a scale bar. Under the Lookup Tables or LUT tool, you are able to change the color of the different channels in the micrograph. Return to Acquisition tab and start Live View again by clicking Live Times 2. 
Find the brightest focal plane by holding control key while scrolling the mouse wheel. Then select register origin under the Z section window to set the origin. Change the number of slices or step size manually or click optimize to optimize for Nyquist. Set your top limit by holding the control key while scrolling up with the mouse wheel until the image disappears. Click on start register. Next, set the bottom limit by holding the control key while scrolling down with the mouse wheel until the image reappears, then disappears again. Click on end register. Select the Z on button and click LSM start. The software displays how many slices are in your image and how much time the micrograph will take. Once the Z scan has completed, click on the series done button when highlighted. It will be blue and flashing. Next, click on the viewer tab. Demonstrate how to scroll through the different slices in the micrograph, how to view the 3D image, and rotate. Add a scale bar to the image and update the LUT tool if desired. To shut down the microscope, tap Escape on the TPC. The Lenses Escaped window will appear on the monitor. Click Just Release. Remove the sample and holder insert. If immersion media was used, clean the lens. Center the stage position using the stage X and Y knobs. Next, select the 4X objective icon on the TPC box number 3. Turn off the LED controller and close the FluView software. Shut down the computer, turn off the lasers, and turn the key to standby. Turn off the power source to box 6 and the tab to PSU box 5. Turn the PSU key number 4 to off. Hang the key number 4 and number 7 on hooks located on the side of the metal cabinet. Select the off button on the screen to turn off the TPC. The TPC window will appear asking if you want to exit. Select OK. After the Olympus screen appears, press and release the button on the back of the TPC. Wait for the TPC to fully shut down and turn off box 2. Next turn off box 1, the CBH, and position oculars vertically. Disinfect the microscope and computer work area. Cover the microscope with a dust cover. Clean up the sample area. Log out of the log notebook and FOM. Thank you for watching our FE3000 laser scanning confocal microscope sequential imaging driving test video. Please contact us at analysisrsc at txstate.edu with any questions.